You are most likely to catch a cold or the flu by touching a contaminated object. We use our hands so much that they are constantly exposed to germs, which we can then transmit into our bodies through our eyes, nose, and mouth. We touch our faces about four times per hour. We rub our eyes, scratch our nose, and put things in our mouth without even thinking about it. So my first tip for surviving cold and flu season is to become aware of how often you touch your face and make a conscious effort to stop. If you need to rub or scratch your face, then use a barrier device such as a paper towel or Kleenex. My second tip goes along with number one. Wash your hands with soap and water frequently. Our skin is a great protective barrier to many germs, but like I just mentioned, we can take our germy hands and touch things that we then consume or somehow transmit to our eyes, nose, and mouth where the virus can easily enter our bodies. You can also use hand sanitizers, but they are not as effective as soap and water and can really dry out your hands or even make them peel. The next time you don't feel like washing your hands, I want you to consider that many viruses can live outside of your body for several hours on things that we commonly touch, such as handrails, doorknobs, and computer mice. Also consider how many people touch light switches, keyboards, toilet handles, faucets, appliance handles, stair rails, money, and shopping carts. And you have no idea what those people had been exposed to prior to touching those things that you then touch. They could have just sneezed, coughed, used the bathroom, changed a baby's diaper, or any number of things. Also, keep in mind that someone can be very contagious and sick with the virus before they show symptoms or even know they are infected. My third tip is to try to keep a good distance from other people. Now I know this can be hard in the work setting or even any social setting, but it's easy for a virus to travel through the air when people speak, cough, or sneeze. The closer you are to them and the longer you are around them, the more <coughs> likely you are to get their germs. Also, flu viruses are more easily transmitted when the air is cold and dry. If one person in a group is sick and others are nearby, then they are likely to get sick too. My fourth and final tip is to follow the CDC's recommendation to get the flu vaccine every year unless you have a contraindication to taking it. A lot of time, effort, and money are put into studying flu outbreaks and strains throughout the world so that vaccines can be made each year to target what we are most likely to come in contact with. And even if the strains are not an exact match, the CDC reports that the vaccines can still offer some protection and milder flu symptoms to similar strains. It takes about two weeks after getting the vaccine for your immunity to build up and offer you protection. So get your shot as early in the season as you can. That's it guys. Let me know what questions you have and share this video with your friends and coworkers so they can take these precautions as well.